Hi, this is Dave at ShoestringNetworks.com. I wanted to take a minute and show you how to disable macros within your Microsoft Office documents. Uh, if you've been watching the news lately, you'll know that there's been uh, a lot of infections, uh, specifically ransomware infections going around. And one of the ways uh, these are getting passed around is through Microsoft Word documents that are embedded in uh, basically phishing emails. Uh, so I wanted to show you how easy it is to disable macros to keep you from getting infected. So uh, I've got Microsoft Word open here, and you'll notice I've already created a document that has a malicious uh, macro embedded in it. I'm going to go ahead and open this document, and we'll show you what this looks like. So when the document opens up, because of the settings I already have enabled, you'll see that uh, this security banner that uh, appears at the top of the page, macros have been disabled. And I can just click right here to enable content. This is the default setting within Microsoft Office now. I'm using Microsoft Office 2016, but 2013 is the same, and I believe 2010 is the same. Now, you can find these settings if you go over to the File menu, choose Options. There's this Trust Center here. And within the Trust Center settings, the first thing you'll see at the top of the page are your macro settings. Again, disable all macros with notification is here. Um, Microsoft, I believe, would recommend that you disable all macros except digital, digitally signed macros. I personally, I'm a little wary of this. Uh, I would rather keep them disabled across the board, only because uh, it's not uncommon now for you to see um, digitally signed malware out there. So at the least, I would want this. And, you know, for the average user that I have out there, they shouldn't be running macros in the first place. So disable all macros without notification isn't a bad idea. Here's one of the reasons why I like this setting up here. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to go back. So when I open this document, you know, natural curiosity is going to, you know, for the average user who's, who's not security aware, He's going to want to know what happens if I enable the content, right? That button is right there. It's really easy to quick click. And so when I click it, something bad happens, right? All your files are belong to us. Um, it, it's just too easy to enable with that button at the top of the page. So me personally, hey, I, I like just disabling macros all the way across the board. And then if you have a set of trusted documents within the organization, uh, then you can enable specifically for documents you want. Otherwise, keep it off. Uh, and if you have the ability, this is again, you know, my two cents, if you have the ability to block or at least hold Microsoft Oc Office documents at your mail gateway, at least hold them for review, that would be a great option in uh, addition to disabling your macros on each desktop. If you're an IT administrator, I would recommend, uh, you know, if you're, especially if you're administering a lot of machines, uh, look into uh, Microsoft's group policy objects templates for administering Microsoft Office. Uh, that way you can kind of mass deploy these settings to all of your users at one time rather than trying to put your hands on each desktop. The other good thing about that is that you can lock those settings in so that your users can't change them uh, willy-nilly, which is pretty good in my, my view. Uh, that's the end of my demo. Uh, if you want more information, go to shoestringnetworks.com. We also have a podcast, the Tech Tip Podcast, where I cover some of this kind of information every week. Uh, thanks a lot.